Hi everyone, let me introduce our royal guest, Elsie Ja, in the name of His Imperial Majesty, Hail Selassie I the First. The woman in front of me is a nutritional advisor and community activist and a recent repatriate to Ethiopia. Can you tell the listeners, what is your mission here in Ethiopia? My mission here in Ethiopia is to create and unify our repatriants in the locals here together to form a natural holistic community as far as like growing uh, food forests, um, building our own natural resources so to live sustainable so we don't need any government existence or anything of that nature. So my goal here is to bring repatriants like myself, the diaspora from the states or wherever, to Ethiopia to merge with the Ethiopian locals to create that holistic community. Okay, so regarding bringing in repatriates to work together with the Ethiopians, how can that be done? Um, I know that there are certain uh, barriers such as language, um, culture, things of that nature. Have you thought about that? Like how are you going to integrate diasporans into Ethiopia? Yes, um, and that's why it's imperative that um, we, the diaspora that that's here currently, are linking up with locals that are um, that can translate that know English as well as the language, so we can learn the language as well, so we could better communicate that and close that barrier of like the whole foreigner and local thing, so we can all become one, because that is the goal. Um, and as well as forming our community there are people here um, that are in like the less fortunate things of like the women and children so we do want to bring them in as well and that is perfect to um, close that barrier um, in getting the diaspora and the locals to merge like that that'll close that and everybody to, to know like hey the diaspora is actually helping the community so let's help each other like from us moving here and for everybody here coming together and realizing hey like there's less fortunate women and children there's children without parents so let's all come together that's that's the goal of mission that's how we're gonna do it how long have you been living in ethiopia i've been living in ethiopia for almost a year now so in one month it'll be a year Okay, cool. And what are your thoughts and views now that you've been living here for going on a year or two? My thoughts and views, um, number one is like, the word that's coming up in my mind right now is like this modesty and like the importance of like always like having someone with you wherever you go. Um, that is way different from like when I was in the States. I would just up and go anywhere, up and wear anything. Not to say that I just was wearing like the clothes that they be wearing like now, like, you know, now generation. But um, here I respect myself like more than I did in the States because it's like, here it's like, the culture is very like religious. Although like, I'm not like, orthodox and you know all of that like i'm spiritual i'm a spiritual being but that's like the difference like a really religious based like women like modesty um type of culture than the american culture so that's the difference like that's what i'll say the biggest is like important to me so okay and is the journey to ethiopia for you spiritual mental mental physical or is it combined uh, all in one um because all to me is like i believe that i'm everything everywhere like i'm everything everywhere like all at once so spiritual physical it's all combined here and that's that's what led me here because i had a relief revelation from the most high and to lead me to even come to Ethiopia in general. 
it's imperative for me spiritually um, more than physically but all of it is combined but it's imperative for me to be here spiritually to uplift myself and the other women here uh, as the diaspora as well so. what does it take for individuals from the diaspora to come into ethiopia and build Is it is, are there any difficulties in transitioning um, for diasporans to Ethiopia? Like, what have your difficulties been? Difficulties being here? Yeah, like transitioning. Uh huh. Transitioning. Um. Yes. Um. Although. Although we may like seem as though we look different as far as our features like you'll be surprised like here like they all we all like look different even the Ethiopians they look different so the difficulty is like them picturing you thinking that you are obviously an Af I mean an American or whatever you, you're coming from like a foreigner so that can be a difficulty some people can be like skeptical really like staring at you and things of that nature um some people call it red eye, like if somebody was staring you down and they could, you know, get your energy and stuff like that. Like, so that could be like a difficulty for someone coming. Um, that'll have like a little trouble, like with the stairs and the different differences in that um, standpoint. But for me, like it was obviously like the language. So that's why I'm like trying to like really like pick up on the language. Um, because for me, I, although I do look American, I do look slightly um, a culture in Ethiopian, like a type of, what do you call it? Like a, not You're like one of the Amhara like, region? Yeah, like, like region from Amhara region or something. Though, yeah, like a different region. Although I do look a different region, I do look American as well. So it's like, that's the difficulty. Like somebody can just come up to me and be like, speak the language and I'm like, dang, like I wish I knew the language though. So. That's really like the most thing, but once you get past the knowing like the language, at least like what you need to know, that's it. And then like link with people that obviously know English and in part, and then that's how you feel right there. Like knowing like the people within the locals that speak English that can help with that barrier. Okay. How can Ethiopia become the number one destination for diasporans? compared to uh, Ghana or Zimbabwe or Botswana or South Africa like how can we how can Ethiopia get on the map is it going to be diasporans getting involved in starting tourism companies or what's going to help more marketing what do you think yes um that what's going to help is more investments here um that's going to sustain the diasporans as well as um, up the locals too. Um, so we wouldn't be just taking over as as they are like in different countries and stuff. But um, investing, building, having something of our own that can rejuvenate um, 
passive residual income um that is what's going to put us on the map and actual people oh that was that was a beautiful life um people actually being authentic and people actually like being knowing that they're here like like me like i know like i'm living in ethiopia this is this is the all be all like if you're not if the destination and your future is not here then it's not gonna work so we need like more diasporas that know for a fact that they want to live here you know so if we come together and be like hey like the diasporas are investing in this building this that is what's going to attract people to be like oh, okay yes i do want to be a part of that so let me come visit let me see what it's going to be like because we do want to build or have different events where we can have people just come and visit to see like okay yes this is something that i really want to do and where i really want to live for my future so we have to start introducing um ethiopia to the world we have to start actually getting people here to actually see what's going on yeah like create testimonials like we're doing right now and then once we really can start um getting people that have skill sets that we can turn into business ideas and start forming businesses then and get to the point where we become just sustainable then that will also help bring more attract more diasporans to come in right exactly i i agree because that's it starts with us it's, it really starts with us us diasporans already here creating something to show the world that hey like Ethiopia, Ethiopia needs us. We need Ethiopia. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, right. just like how, like you said, they're doing in Ghana or Tanzania or all of these, you can do it anywhere. Mm -hmm. But we're, we are here right now. Yeah. And so, that is, that's, that's what we're, that's what we're doing and the progress of doing, like with the diasporans here, creating and investing. Okay. And before we wrap it up, can you just share, um, some of your um plans like goals now that you're here in ethiopia like what's what's your next steps now um my next steps would be creating those um events or small little uh gatherings or either like a hiking little trip or like a camping little thing that we can do or set up a retreat or just something small to show that um the Ethiopia show the land to the people like that's that's the next goal okay like to actually like get our movement pushed out there mm -hmm. and so we could create different little things that we can invest in together okay yeah, so. all right and do you have any la uh, last words uh, before uh, for the people still outside living in the West I just have a clean clean pure heart you know uh, stay healthy um, make sure you go visit like my blog site on Facebook so you can get different healthy tips or different things that you can implement in your everyday life, different affirmations that you can say, say and do, different movements. Um, we'll be putting my, uh, my YouTube and things of that nature, our Amazon wish list, everything in the description. So just take care of yourself. Love yourself, take care of yourself, and be loved to others. So. All right, one love. Thank you.